Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing WWE 2K18 on the GeForce GTX 1050 2GB for FPS monitoring. I'll be using Cam. If you want to download the software, there's a link down in the description. And if you want to support me, there are Humble and Amazon affiliate links down in the description as well. So WWE 2K18, I'll be doing 1080p, 900p and 720p. To skip to those sections of the video, check the description below. So well, so far, in order to get 60 frames per second in this game, the only chance was to be at 720p lower settings or 900p reduced settings sometimes. It depends on what fight you're at. If it's an 8-man battle, forget about it, you won't get 60 frames per second and anything over 720p. So well, on 1080p I first show you the maximum settings and that's enough to be pretty much at 30 frames per second. After that I just lower the settings to the minimum in order to show you how it runs there. And well, then on 900p and 720p I do exactly the same thing maximum settings then the lower settings uh, we'll see how it goes and the game below 60 frames per second feels very inconsistent so i recommend just to enable vsync this time around because the game feels very uneven for some reason but vsync smoothens performance out this time around and now I'm going to talk to you about the options menu and some of the CPU performance. So the graphics options menu is very similar to 2K17. We have windowed mode on or off, vSync on or off, shadows on or off, FXAA on or off. Texture quality we have low, medium or high. But the game doesn't use a lot of VRAM. It was below 2 gigabytes of VRAM usage on high, so that's good. Then we also have the audience density from 0% to 100%. That fulfilled on or off or motion blur on or off. In my opinion, this is a very bare bones options menu. It's good that we can turn off shadows, but I didn't see a big difference between the lowest and the highest settings. The biggest performance impact is resolution, so I don't expect much of a difference changing the settings. But shadows that fulfill that motion blur, turning them off, gives you the biggest performance uplift. I decided to use the 8-man battle the battle royale mode on 8 man and I noticed as I was playing the match that when there are less opponents on screen you start with 8 but you will end up with around 3 5 minutes from that you get a small performance uplift because there are less characters on screen and there are some occasions where the camera can just zoom out and you'll see more of the place that you're fighting at that's also a performance hit it doesn't happen in the mode I tested. It can be a noticeable performance impact, but since you usually have less opponents on screen when those two mouths happen, it isn't as bad as having eight wrestlers on screen at all times. So keep that in mind. But yeah, not much else to say. The game doesn't use a lot of RAM or VRAM. It can use a lot of CPU. It's kept at 60 frames per second. So the G4560 was more than enough to maintain a consistent 60 as long as your GPU can hold up. So if you have a better CPU, a Ryzen 3, a Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, a modern i5, a modern i7, something like that, you won't see a difference at all, since the game is more GPU dependent this time around. And since it's kept at 60 frames per second, and the G4560 can achieve it without a problem, even with eight wrestlers on screen, a better CPU won't make a difference at all here. The 60 frames per second cap seems to be that the mocap they did was at 60 frames per second, so if you go over 60, the animations won't be correct, but I don't know. That's what I read on the internet, but anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching, and see you next time. His energy for when it counts. Now Neville might be in some trouble here. He's gonna need to find a way to fire back. You can't put a price tag on landing that perfect strike. And that nailed him. A kick to the gut. That'll double you over. Gosh, this is like that old battery commercial. This move just keeps going and going and going and going. He's starting to stagger a bit. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. But the good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. He's targeting the midsection here. How could Brock Lesnar just dig deeper right now and find his way out of this one? He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. He is a one-man gang in there. His strikes have a little extra on them tonight. A frontal assault with a brutal headbutt. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. 
Man, that got him good. He landed a perfectly placed strike. That'll send a message to your adversary, all right. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. Wow, look how quick. Lightning fast. It looks like we're ready to do battle here, guys. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. And let's not forget, we're coming to you live from the hometown of one of the greatest of all time, Shawn Michaels. He hits the belly-to-back suplex. Brock Lesnar going to work now. Tell us about Neville. How do you see him getting it done here tonight? There is nothing like a bunch of WWE talent slugging it out, and only one of them can be the victor. He really needs to lay low and save his strength if he wants to be around when it counts. Neutralizes him with an elbow. Neville connecting there with a good shot. Clearly on a mission here. Roman Reigns has been told his whole life he can't do this, he can't do that. But when it comes to the big dog, you can be sure the man who's part of the Samoan dynasty is going to bring the fight with everything he's got. Neville is not someone to sleep on. Neville is making his presence known. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. AJ Styles got him there. His drop kick finds the mark. Now we have Dean Ambrose on the attack. Oh, the reversal by AJ Styles. <laughs> Neville is not someone to sleep on. And he gets him with a counter. He better hope he can sustain that effort. That one was off the mark. Awful. Just plain awful. And a powerful slam down onto the back. Ambrose starting to struggle now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to get this match started. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Judging from this crowd response, guys, there's no more magical place to be in Orlando right now than right here for this match. Oh, there's some good contact there by Randy Orton. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Oh, there is an elbow drop. As the action continues, let's discuss Neville briefly. For those that haven't seen much of him, what can we expect tactic-wise from him tonight? He's got to lay low, for God's sake. This is a battle royal. And when I say that, I don't mean from the physical aspect. I mean, be conservative about who and when you decide to mix it up with in there. Look, he needs to stay far out of the way of things for as long as he can. The longer he can conserve his energy, the better. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Nice escape from the cradle. And believe me, that was a lot harder to get out of than it looked. His strikes have a little extra on them tonight. Gosh, this is like that old battery commercial. This move just keeps going and going and going and going. Randy Orton has found an answer here. Now it's Roman Reigns on his heels. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. Ain't no stopping him now. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Oh, there's some good contact there by Randy Orton. He's making a statement here with this attack. Man, that got him good. He landed a perfectly placed strike. That'll send a message to your adversary, all right. 
He's taking some offense. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. He seem more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. He misses on that one. Were his eyes even open? Just making his presence felt there. Look at the pain on his face after that neck breaker. What should Neville try to do differently at this stage to stay in this thing? Guys. And these superstars look more than ready to get going here. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. And let's not forget, we're coming to you live from the hometown of one of the greatest of all time, Shawn Michaels. The blunt force to the head right there might leave him down for good. Now we have Dean Ambrose on the attack. Just making his presence felt there. Tell us about AJ Styles. I can't wait to see his plan of attack. What do you expect from him? One of the reasons a battle royal is so dangerous is because there's nothing you can do to prepare for it. It can have a different amount of participants, different rules about attire and what's at stake. He needs to be at his absolute best. For this one, he wants to avoid any major entanglements and keep his energy level high. This will give him a chance to be around when the final participants are in there duking it out. And Neville might be in some trouble here. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. Strikes like that can end this one in a hurry. Roman Reigns has been told his whole life he can't do this, he can't do that. But when it comes to the big dog, you can be sure the man who's part of the Samoan dynasty is going to bring the fight with everything he's got. And there's the reversal from Neville. And there's a game-changing DDT. We may have discovered his favorite move. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And he gets him with the counter. AJ Styles with good timing here. That one was off the mark. Awful. Just plain awful. He got all that one. Neville is not someone to sleep on. Neville is making his presence known. Missed by a large margin on that one. Wow, he's better than that. All right, it's time to kick this thing off. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Dean Ambrose is a force within the ring. He lands a jarring forearm, getting his attention with a vicious strike. And he executes a picture-perfect Russian leg sweep. Oh, that was a hard shot. What a strike! a savage elbow. AJ Styles with the offense. Delivered a beautiful uppercut. Man, that had some force behind it. Roman Reigns with nice contact there. Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. Abuses him with an elbow. Neville got him there. He kicks him right in the gut. A sickening thud. Oh no, the brain buster. A foggy mind can't be far behind.
just making his presence felt there. Wow, can't believe Dean Ambrose get out of that one. This is the type of attack that just wears down an opponent. Counters that one. Wow, missed by a mile. Had that one well scouted. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Not so fast. And it's Dean Ambrose able to break free. That move at this juncture of the match.